Hello, and welcome to Lesson 3 of Cascading Style Sheets, CSS Structure. A CSS element, or rule, has two main parts, the selector and the declaration. Let's take a look at the selector first. Uh, there are several different kinds of selectors. The most basic type of selector is the HTML element itself. This allows you to easily apply a set of rules to a certain element type all at once. Um, let's go ahead and look at an example of this. I'm going to open up the uh, rock, paper, scissors demo. Let's look at this in a browser. And let's say uh, our instructions here are kind of a shade of gray. And if we wanted to spruce that up a little bit, what we could, we, what we could do is open up our index.html, go find the uh, instructions. And as we can see, the instructions have been wrapped in an H2 tag. So uh, here are our style rules from our previous lesson. Um, why don't we replace the blue text class with the element H2, save that. And when we refresh the page, we see that the instructions turn a lovely shade of blue. Isn't that nice? Uh, one, one thing to note here is that you can even use two or more elements at the same time as the selector. Uh, you just need to separate them with a comma. So, so what we could do is we could do h2, comma, h3, comma, div, comma, uh, all the paragraph tags, all the span tags are now going to be blue. Uh, there is really no limit on how many selectors you can have. Um, Another way to apply styles to elements is to use the class selector, just like we did in the uh, previous lesson. Instead of using an element name as a selector, you can use the class name preceded by a period. Uh, the period must always be used because uh, that's what marks it as a class selector. Using a class selector is probably the most common and beneficial way to add styles to a website as it enables you to be more selective on which elements the style is applied to. To use a class with a certain element, simply set its class attribute to the name of the class. So just like we did in lesson two, just copy that out when we get rid of this, so cleans it up a little bit. Come down here, and if we want to set this to class, red text, Save that, and now the instructions are read. Uh, one thing to note here is that you can uh, use multiple class names in the same uh, element. You can set several classes to a single element, uh, and that's really kind of cool. Uh, you just want to make sure that you have a space in between the different class names. So you do red text, space, oh, I don't know, uh, bigger font if you had a class called bigger font and now they'll both be applied just don't forget that CSS class names are case sensitive so class red text is going to be considered different by the browser than class red text uh, and sometimes that'll get you if you don't keep that in mind what we've decided here at ESU 10 is that we just keep all of our uh, class names, our CSS class names, all lowercase. That way there is never a uh, doubt in our mind of how it's supposed to be. Uh, and it really does save us a lot of time troubleshooting in the long run. Uh, the third type of uh, selector is, is called the ID selector. ID selectors are used a lot like the class selector, uh, but there's a few differences. Uh, instead of using a period like we do with the class selector, you need to use a pound sign, or as I like to call it, the uh, little itty bitty tic-tac-toe sign. To use an ID selector, you use the ID attribute of the element, uh, which makes sense if you, if you think about it. Uh, unlike classes, IDs can only be used once per page since IDs have to be unique for that HTML page. Also, don't forget that just like classes, ID selectors are also case sensitive. Uh, and so it's a good idea to just keep them all lowercase. Um, 
so for example if we wanted to use this this uh, red text here what we could do is go down here and instead of having class red text we would just do ID equals red text and to see if that works we'll save refresh although uh, the text is still red that really didn't make a big difference so why don't we go ahead and change it up a little bit why don't we call make one that's called green we'll call green and then color well I don't know green and then set the ID to be equal to green save that and now you can see the uh, text has been turned a lovely shade of green